Good morning, and let me thank everybody very much uh, for being here. Uh, for those of you who don't know it, my name is uh, Mike Castle, uh, and I am the congressman from the state of Delaware. For some of our Philadelphia media, we only have one congressman uh, in the state of Delaware, and this is my, my good wife, Jane. Uh, obviously, uh, as I think all of you know, I have been thinking about uh, the decision about whether or not uh, I should be a candidate uh, for either the United States House of Representatives for re-election uh, or for the United States Senate uh, to fill the remainder of the term to which uh, Senator Joe Biden, uh, now Vice President Biden, was elected. As you may also know, uh, Ted Kaufman uh, was named to replace Joe uh, and is uh, serving th those two years, and then they have an election for the remaining uh, four years at the next general election, which will be next November. Uh, obviously, I've uh, uh, been thinking about this for, uh, for some time, uh, ever since uh, it was obvious uh, that Joe was going to be leaving the Senate and that election would be taking place. And as I went through my uh, various meetings uh, in Delaware, including my uh, town hall meetings, uh, even my health care meetings, uh, all the different events uh, that I go to and, and just uh, working my staff um, and talking to so many people, I realized uh, that there was just a lot of support uh, for my doing this, and uh, I cleared it with the most important person out there from a political point of view, who's right here with me, uh, to make sure everything was okay. And uh, we came to, a, to closure a little over a week ago uh, that this is something uh, that uh, we wanted to do. As a matter of fact, uh, I think uh, once we reached closure on that, I realized I'd wanted to do it uh, all along. Uh, so I am here today to announce that I will be a candidate for the United States Senate. This is probably, uh, I hope that's not my train. Uh, this is probably uh, not true of, of just Delaware, but I know it's true of Delaware. Uh, we need the strongest and most experienced leadership we can find in this country today. Uh, I hope to be able uh, to bring that uh, to the United States Senate. Uh, there are many, many issues of concern, and I'm not here today to go through a lot of issues, but just to make the decision on my announcement. Uh, but obviously, uh, we have to worry about economic growth and job creation in our country. Uh, that is uh, the motor behind uh, our uh, entire functioning, and, and without it, uh, we would be uh, badly jeopardized. And we've been hurt in the country, we've been hurt in Delaware, and we need to do everything we can uh, to resurrect all of that. Uh, we need to worry about threats uh, to America, and we need to work hard on our uh, diplomacy and our leadership. And we still are the world leaders, and we need to work hard uh, in terms of what we are doing uh, all over the world the ver with the various threats to our country. Uh, Health care is an issue that just begs working together, uh, and we have not seen that uh, in Washington on this issue. Uh, and I believe that we can make health care more accessible and more affordable uh, if we work together. And by together, I mean everybody across the country and Republicans uh, and Democrats uh, together. And I believe that spending in Washington uh, has just gone too far. Uh, I've been voting against uh, appropriation bills now for several years. Uh, my sense is uh, that we are just spending too much money in Washington, D.C. We cannot continue to do that. And we need to bring to Washington uh, the same uh, economic skills that uh, we brought to Delaware a long time ago when people like Pete DuPont uh, and, and myself were able to balance budgets, uh, live within our means, uh, and make sure that uh, we are doing all we can uh, to present uh, the economic interests of our country uh, as well as possible. And, and that is something that absolutely needs to take place in Washington, D.C. Uh, I happen to believe in civility and, and bipartisanship, uh, which may be an argument for never going to Washington, D.C., I suppose. Uh, but I believe very strongly uh, that by working together, uh, we can actually accomplish a lot more than we're seeing today with all the finger pointing uh, and accusations uh, about partisanship, uh, which is taking place uh, in, in Washington. Uh, a long time ago, uh, we discovered uh, in Delaware that uh, if we do work together, uh, we are able to solve problems. Uh, they've not yet discovered that uh, in Washington, D.C., and I think it's a shame, uh, but I hope to continue uh, to try to bring that to the table as far as Washington is concerned. Uh, the reason for this press conference uh, today uh, is simply to make the announcement that I will be a candidate uh, for the United States uh, Senate. Uh, there will be a campaign kickoff later. Uh, and I'll go through the details of various things that I stand for uh, at, at that point. Uh, I would like to make uh, one final point, and I'll be glad to try to take a few questions before the, the train comes in. 
Um, and that is to thank my staff. Uh, my staff in my Washington office uh, does a wonderful job. Uh, they help prepare uh, issues for me. They help me develop legislation, get ready for floor fights, committee fights, uh, whatever it may be. And uh, for that, uh, I'm extremely uh, thankful. But they also represent the people of, of Delaware as well as they can. Uh, they take the phone calls, uh, the letters, and the emails. Uh, and they get out the messages uh, that make sure that people either get their Social Security or given help or whatever it is that we can possibly do to help. And I'd just like to thank uh, my staff who've just been extraordinarily. And, and obviously, most importantly, uh, I thank Jane for her support. Uh, if uh, you have a spouse who's talking about going into politics, uh, approach it uh, uh, very cautiously. Uh, it, it, is a, uh, it is a tough job. Uh, we're away a lot. Our schedules are not always our own. Uh, and Jane has been as, as supportive as anybody could be, and I'd just like to, uh, to thank her. Uh, she, she's been the best. Uh, with that, uh, let me pause and, and see if there's any questions I can at least attempt to answer.